Well, there are political evidence. Uh, Salvini's party signed a deal with the United Russia in 2017, a deal that was never repealed. It's a political deal. Of course, it's not an interference, it's something in the open. But we kept asking to, to Salvini, why didn't they repeal the deal after the invasion of Ukraine? And we got no answer. That's one, one instance. And then we know that there are associations that's uh, close to the Lega that deal directly with Russia. So we wonder to what extent do we need to have open um, instances of relationship with Russia to call it uh, for, for what it is. Mm, but, but to be clear, there has not been no actual physical evidence of it that per the U.S. intelligence agency report. There hasn't been physical evidence of a f direct financing of parties, but there are political ties mm -hmm. with Legas and with association close to the Lega or in the network of Lega. How do you think Italy's approach to the war in Ukraine would change under a center-right leadership as well? Because again, to talk about their differences, as you mentioned, Salvini has been historically a little bit more supportive of Russia. Uh, when it comes to the, um, the military pr uh, provisions that the Draghi government has actually given. But leader Meloni has been supportive of all of the decisions taken by the Draghi government. So how do you think that relationship might evolve? That's a big question. Uh, we keep asking how they are going to get along uh, on, uh, on, on Ukraine and, uh, and uh, on sanctions on Russia, and we don't get any answer. You say there is no evidence of a direct link between uh, Lega and, uh, and, and Russia, but we hear what they say, and Salvini repeats exactly the same words as the spokesperson of the Kremlin. So, I mean, more than this political tie and more than these political difficulties, what do you need? Do you think this new coalition of the right, if it were to uh, win the elections next week, will have longevity? Will the government be able to survive the full five years? You should ask them. We are busy trying uh, to get as many votes as we can mm. because we think that Italy should go in a different direction, strengthening Europe and supporting Ukraine. Mm. And how important are the European recovery funds for the future of, of Italy, in, and you say in the, this direction that you think the country should be going in? They're really important. We saw growth rates as we have never seen in the past two years. And they, are, they have to do both with the leadership of Mario Draghi and with the fact that the country is recovering fast and is spending European money. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.